Hello and welcome, this is The Experimenter and today we are back with the fifth video of our series uh, Insane Integrals and today the integral that we are going to take is called Frilani's Integral. Uh, if I am not wrong, this uh, appeared in Putnam Mathematical Competition many years ago. I really don't remember at w in which year it appeared. But this is a very beautiful problem because this weird looking integral can be transformed into a very simpler form by just uh, changing the number of variables uh, let us see by that what I mean this might look frightening for first time calculus doing students but still this is a very very unique problem for uh, concept building and this might help us to solve other problems of this type let us see how we need to uh, change our views actually uh, this uh, problem looks like a single variable problem as we can see there is only one uh, integral and it goes from 0 to infinity but with a subtle transformation we can actually transform this to a multivariable problem and the reason we are transforming this to a multivariable problem is that our calculation will get simplified let's see how now let's see how to do that so uh, basically we are just transforming the problem the integrand can be written as this where uh, we are introducing a new variable as y and the limit of that variable goes from 1 to pi uh, there is no uh, dy here uh, that is by mistake I wrote dy but it, there should be only dx now this this inner integrand can also be rewritten as this because we know that uh, when uh, uh, inverse trigonom inverse trigonometric tan when integrated it gives it gives the one one by one plus x square here it is x y so it should be one by one plus x square y square and now since we are uh, extracting the limits the uh, the dx and dy part should also come earlier there was no dy because we have only written the limits after solving the integral but since we are just reforming the problem that dx dy will come again now if we just swap the limits we see this whole thing this uh, tan inverse xy by whole divided by y gets reduces gets gets reduced to pi by 2 and since there is a y in the denominator so we can say that this is pi by 2 into 1 by y again if we integrate that it is dy by y integrated from 1 to pi so it is pi by 2 into ln y from limit 1 to pi so that makes pi by 2 ln pi and this is our answer